Hello, hope this video finds you well. Today we are going to look at MaxN3 from the List1 section, and this is the Python solution. Remember, the Python and Java problems mirror each other, but in Java they're in the array section. So you can find the MaxN3 Java solution as well on my channel. And with that, let's dive in. Given an array of ints length 3, figure out which is larger, the first or last element in the array, and set all the other elements to be that value. Return the changed array. Okay. And we can see in this 1, 2, 3, the larger the value is the last one, so we return 3, 3, 3, 11, 5, 9, 11 is larger than 9, so we return 11, 11, 11, and 2, 11, 3, 3 is larger than 2, so we will return 3, 3, 3. We're going to do this a couple ways. The first way we're going to do it is we're just going to, we're going to use an if statement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say largest is equal to nums at zero. So what am I doing here? I am assuming nums at zero is larger than nums at two. And then I just say if nums at zero is less than nums at two, well then what we're going to do is say largest is equal to nums at two. Okay, so this is that idea. We're just going to make an assumption and then we're going to test that assumption and if that's not true we're going to change it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to return, well, there's two things here. Let's, let's talk about two different options here. One option here is I could do this. I could say, well, nums at 0 is going to equal largest, nums at 1 is going to equal largest, and nums at 2 is going to equal largest. And then I return nums. And we get go. Where did I type wrong? I put, oh, there it is, nums, hit go. No works, no problem. Okay, so if you've been following along, I've talked about this idea that with lists, you really want to be conscious of whether or not you change the, the list that's passed in. And this has no impact on working on coding bad. But when you start getting into more complicated projects, um, you really need to think about whether or not you modify lists. So one option here is I could change the actual existing list, or I could do this. Return, and I'm just going to make a new list that is largest, largest, and largest. works the same. The difference here is that in this case I've modified the parameter nums and in this case I've created a whole new list. All I want you to do right now is to understand the distinction between those two things. You'll come to realize why that's important as you continue to program. All right, now the second approach I'm going to do here, approach two, is I'm just going to take this section and simplify it a little bit. So let's comment this out. So there we go. Let's just, I can clean this up later. You can find it on my GitHub, which is linked in the bottom. And all I'm going to do is take advantage of the, of the max function. It's a really useful one. Largest is equal to max. Nums at zero. Nums at two. And then I'm going to return largest, largest, largest. So all I want to do with this second solution is highlight this idea that we can use this max function. Here's a really common mistake people make, or not a mistake, it's, it's an honest mistake new big programmers make, is they'll name this variable max. That can cause some problems in Python, so I do strongly recommend that you don't name a variable the same thing as a function, because I've noticed sometimes that that can lead to some problems. All right, I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day.